Welcome. In this video, we're going to learn a little bit about Linux commands. So Linux has many commands which are used to perform very specific tasks on the Linux file system. And we use these commands with command line interpreters. And if you go to the introduction to the Linux command shell for beginners guide and look at section 3.2, and also section 5.1, 5.2, and 5.3, you'll see a list of most of the commands that you can use in Linux, but that's pretty extensive, all those commands. And for now, we're just gonna look at a few basic ones in this video, which are all these commands right here, which we will go over in the Linux environment, how to use all of these commands. Uh, there's things like navigating the Linux file system, things, and then using files within the file system. And there's also some utility things we will go over. The first three commands we will look at deal with the navigation of the Linux file system. Specifically, the three commands we will look at are pwd, ls, and cd. PWD can be used to print the file path of the current working directory. LS can be used to display all the contents of the current working directory. Or, if you use it with path, it will display the contents of the directory found at path. And CD will, when it is used alone, it will switch to the root directory of the file system. But when used with a file path, it will change to the current working directory to that path. So let us look at these three commands in a Linux environment. So if you enter the command pwd, you will see that you get the, current, the path of the current working directory printed to you. So to see all of the things contained within the current working directory, we can type ls and you will see all of the folders and files that are contained within this directory printed to the screen. Now, if I wanted to say, see what it is on the desktop of this directory, we can do an ls desktop, and it will show us this sample file, which is this file right over here on our desktop. Note, you will not see default uh, programs or files on the desktop when you do an ls. So uh, now if we wanted to say change to this desktop directory, we could do something like cd desktop and it will change us to the desktop uh, directory, which is a directory for this user, which is the directory that we can see visually right here uh, in the background. So if I type something like ls now, you will see that it is going to print the directories and files that are on this desktop right here. And then we could do something like cd just by itself, and it will take us back to this uh, home directory for the user. And you can see that by typing ls and it will print out all those same directories and files that are on the home uh, level. Next, we will look at some commands that deal with files. Specifically, we will look at the touch command, which will create files, the rm command, which will remove files, the cat command, which will display all the contents of a file, the head command, which will display the first 10 lines of a file, and the tail command, which will display the final 10 lines of a file. So let's look at all of these commands in a Linux environment. So the first one is going to be touch. We can make a file using the touch command by typing touch and then the name of the file that we want to create. So I will create a file called example.txt. And if you see when I create that file with touch, you can see a file called example.txt is created over here. If I wanted to delete that file, I could use the command rm example.txt and it will delete that file 
off of the desktop. So we already have a file over here, and this file has 15 lines of data in it, starting at one and ending at 15. So what if we wanted to display that data on our command line right here? Well, we could use the cat sample.txt command, and that will print the lines of the file. And this sample.txt is just the name of that file right there that we wanted to print. And if we say only wanted the first few lines of the file, the first 10 lines of the file, we would say head sample.txt. And it would give us the first 10 lines of the file. But say we wanted the last 10 lines of the file. Well, then we would just type tail dot or sample dot txt and it would give us our final 10 lines of that file. Now, let us look at a few commands that deal with directories, specifically the mkdir command, which will make a new directory at this path that we specify. We can also use the rmdir command, which will remove the directory at path. We can use the cp path to dest path command, which will copy whatever file we have at this path to this path, which will make a copy of it. Or we can use the mv command, which will move whichever file from this directory path to this destination directory path, which will not make a copy, but it will actually move the file. So let us look at these in a Linux environment. So we can use the mkdir command to make a directory at our current working directory by just simply saying what the name of the directory we want to make is called. And let's make a directory called new. And you can see a directory on our desktop will be called, will be made called new. We can open that and there is nothing in our new directory for now. Say we want to make a directory inside of that directory. Well, we could change over here to new and make a new directory in there, or we could type mkdir new slash another new. And you see a a directory called another new will be made in this new directory. Well, what if we wanted to delete this directory another new now? Well, we could use the rmdir command and we could say at new slash another new and it would delete that directory. And then say we wanted to delete this new directory, we can come over here and type rmdir new sorry, rmdir new, and it will delete that new directory. So let's make a directory new again, just to have a directory to move stuff to. And let's look at the copy and move commands. So we have this sample.txt file, and let us move this or copy this into this new directory over here that we have made. So I can do a cp of sample.txt and I want to send it to new and I want to call it sample.txt. So you can see that we can copy the file that way. We could also rename it if we wanted to sample.txt by just providing a new name right here. We'll say new name.txt and you see it will copy the exact same contents of the file over but it will just have a new name. There's new name.txt and sample.txt. Those are two tabs. So let me pull them off. As you can see, new name and sample have the same exact stuff inside of them. Let us remove these and we'll use the command line to remove those instead of deleting them. We'll say rm new slash new name txt and that will remove that new name file and then we can say rm new slash sample 
rm.txt, and that will remove sample.txt. In note, we use rm with files, and we use rmdir when we want to delete directories. So let's look at one last command, and that's going to be mv. And say we want to move this file into new. Well, we can do that saying mv sample.txt to new slash and what we want to call it inside of there. And it will move that file into here, not copy it. And then say we want to move this back from inside of here back to the desktop. We can do that by saying something like mv new slash sample.txt. And then we're just going to move it back over to the desktop sample.txt. And there you go. It will move it back to the desktop. You can also, just like with copy, rename the file if you want by saying something like mv sample.txt to new slash new name.txt. And it will move it, rename it, but the data contained within the file will still be the same. And lastly, let us look at the one utility command we need, which will be echo. And that will just display some text to the screen. And this won't be very useful for us until we start talking about scripting, but we're going to need it when we get to scripting. So let us look at it really quickly. If we go to the Linux environment and we want to say echo something to the screen here or print something to the screen, we would simply type echo and then whatever we want to put such as test. And if you see, it will need to go in double quotes. You can also say echo and test, and it will just put tests to the screen as well. So that will just display whatever you put to, whatever you send to it, it will just display it to the screen. This will be very useful in our scripting. But that is all you need to know for now about Linux commands.